Uh, Dale Arsh, uh, south of Mount Vernon, South Dakota. Uh, family farm, uh, third generation. I'm a first year BioAdvantage participant. I'm uh, testing tag team LCO on soybeans. And to me, it's not just a 100 foot long trial. I wanna see replications throughout the field and not just on your best soil. I did uh, approximately 32 rows of tag team and acceleron, and then 16 rows of just acceleron, and then 16 rows of nothing. And I did that uh, five times throughout the field. It's in my operation. I know exactly what's going on, what's going into the soil, what's, what the environment it has. Well, we'll do a few uh, root digs, you know, see if we've got some nodulation. And then uh, plant health, we'll document that a few times throughout the year. And then it comes down to the, the yield at the end of the year. When it comes to our area, I want to be on top of that. We dug some soybeans up to do some stem looks, and the tag team definitely had a big advantage right now. Healthier plant above ground, but below ground was a really an eye opener. A healthier plant has got to produce more beans. So that's number one. The root growth was much better, much better root mass, which has got to lead to better yield. It was night and day difference of the tag team versus the plain soybean. I, I firmly believe in soil health. We've got some pretty good uh, black soil for the most part right here in this area. Go a little bit west of us and it's a little tougher, but we really have the good soil. If it adds, adds a little bit to this year, it's great, but in years to come, if you could save some money for the next few years by adding that, great. And then if you get better soil health for the coming years, but like we said before, a healthier plant, more soybeans, more corn the next year, it, and it's a snowball effect the right way. So it's not just about bushels this year, it's about bushels in the coming year.